welcome and thank you everybody for attending. Uh, I don't think this session will, will take too long, but, but it is a great opportunity that I'm here, I'm with you. If you have any questions related to what I'm talking about, please ask them. If you have any questions, uh, other questions that I haven't touched on and you'd like to get um, um, my input on, please also feel free to do that. Uh, I am the director of MENA Partnerships and Growth at Localized. Uh, we are very excited with our partnership with uh, Fulbright and with Ahmed East in general. Um, and uh, we're very excited to get you guys on board on the platform uh, so you can really start utilizing all the different features, accessing the different uh, experts that we have and attending the various webinars that we're uh, launching. I did want to mention that uh, we actually have a career fair coming up. Uh, it's planned for April uh, uh, May 26th and 27th, uh, and as uh, uh, users on Localize, you guys have full access to that, so please uh, uh, note that on your calendar. We will obviously be sending uh, quite a lot of materials about that uh, in the lead up to the career fair, just to make sure that everybody um, knows the dates and times. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, and I I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So the, the purpose of today's session is really to walk through the sign-on process into localized. And then once you're in localized, we're gonna jump into the uh, we're gonna jump into the profile section to make sure uh, everybody's clear about what the different sections mean. Uh, and I'm going to also talk a little bit about uh, the importance of uh, filling in your profile. Uh, and we'll, we will be seeing uh, in the screens together the process of how this works. So Fulbright uh, do have a, a landing page. So this is the link as a Fulbright uh, alumni or student. This is the link that you need to go to in order to uh, uh, log into the, uh, into the platform directly from the page. There's also, it already talks about some of the um, features or some of the ways you can uh, benefit from being on localized. So we're just gonna go ahead and start and kick this off. I'm gonna go into the sign up process. And for some reason, the videos keep disappearing, but I think we're good. All right, so once you click on sign up from the Fulbright landing page, you get taken back into a localized uh, page. There are a couple of ways that you can sign on. You can do so uh, through Facebook, through LinkedIn, through your Google account, or through your Apple account. Or you can sign on directly with a first name, email, uh, first name last name, email uh, combination. And I'm just going to do that because it's, uh, it's easier. So, Ahmed. And I guess it is important, guys, as you're, as you're signing on to the platform, it is important to, do, to focus on capital letters and to focus on um, different, I'm going to try to use an email. All right, and it's great that we're getting more people on. Okay, so once you open that for initial page or you put in your username, put in your password or easier to go into your uh, Facebook, that's also acceptable. Indicate if you're a student or not. And for this purpose, I'm gonna indicate that I am a student and let's go and so there's a series of questions one two three four five six pages of small questions so it doesn't take a long time that you have to go through in order to fill out your profile so where do you live i currently am in cairo what languages do i speak I speak arabic and english and then next my education, so where did I go to school? I went to the George. And then here, let me tell you here, so 
So you will find that, so we have, for example, some universities that we have partnerships with, we might not have a partnership with your particular university, uh, but we do have, so if you put in, uh, um, uh, Fulbright is actually not university, so put in university, if it doesn't pop up, that's not a problem. So if I go, if I say the George Washington, And I was studying international business. And by the way, so if it doesn't pop up, it's also all right. When will you be graduating? I, um, let's say 2022. And the degree that I'm expecting to graduate with, or this particular degree was a bachelor's degree. Interest, so things that I'm interested in, I can say I'm interested in business and consulting, I'm interested in career guidance, I'm interested in education, and I'm interested in marketing as well. For communications, communications, there we go. So these are just your interests, and these are nice because this helps the our engine to recommend channels that you might find interesting, and we'll get into that in a bit. Am I looking for a job? Yes or no? Yes. I'm actively looking, and I'm looking for a full-time position. Obviously, you can add more than one here. So this is for companies. I help companies learn more about you. What are your skills? So. Uh, and this can really vary from different projects that you've done within uh, university, uh, in your education, uh, extracurricular activities that you did. Um, so, for example, I, 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 while I was in university, I was the treasurer um, for the Arab Alumni Association. So I can say financials in general. I was managing the financials and that. I, uh, I had done a couple of internships as well in uh, web design. Um, so it was, back then it was HTML. I don't know if that'll help. Okay, here we go. So HTML5. Uh, I can also say that as a, I, I did dabble a lot in uh, databases. So access database, access. And you might need to go uh, enter a couple of, uh, of, uh, of, of experts there. You go. So when you enter data, it gives you um, uh, um, uh, different ideas that you might not have uh, thought of. Um, so do try put in this, you could spend a bit of time, but this is important because it's also shown on your profile. And as employers look at your profiles, they will want to look at different skills that you might have. So this is the channels bit. We prioritize content based on your uh, location, language, and what you have talked about. So I can already start thinking of, okay, so this is a channel that sounds interesting, career, uh, career development. I am interested in going into consulting, um, not necessarily social media marketing. And these are just ideas. So I do, there are two channels that will usually pop up. The getting started on localized, I would suggest to follow that. And I would suggest to follow this channel as well because it has a lot of the uh, previous webinars uh, that we've posted. You can search for them on that platform, but they're also available in this particular channel. And with that, I've actually finished the sign-on process for Localize. So now I'm in the platform. I get a, a simple welcome message just to highlight some of the different things that you can do on the platform. Click on get started and I'm in. Now, now, now that I'm in, I start seeing all the different features on the platform. There's these features on Localize. These are webinars that are hosted by Localize and are publicly available and everybody has access to them. So you are welcome to go into these. And so this, this particular, I'm actually moderating this particular webinar in, in a couple of days. So I can go into it and I can indicate that yes, I am interested I am interested to participate in a particular webinar and that just helps you to uh, make sure that you know uh, when things are, you can add it to your Google Calendar. If you think friends would benefit from this, you're able to also share it uh, uh, as a user 
onto your social media uh, posts. I'm going to go back into the localized homepage. Um, quickly, there's the feed, which is populated based on the channels that I'm following. There's the memberships we're on. So when you come onto the platform, automatically you're all members of the Fulbright Mina page on localized. Okay, and, and you'll see that when there is content that's posted on that page, it will appear here. But I've also uh, followed a couple of channels, so automatically my newsfeed gets uh, 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 filled out with content that was posted on these channels that I filled in. I'm going to quickly go into this, and then I'm going to jump back into the homepage because I want to spend some time uh, going through the uh, profile. So this is the Fulbright Mina uh, page that you guys will all become members of. There's a couple of channels that are available. So these are private channels only for the Fulbright Mina community. Because I, have, I am now a member of this community, I'm able to uh, directly, I'm able to see them. Uh, and as you see, there are a lot of different topics that, uh, that we have already, uh, or that the team has already created channels for. Uh, and uh, as we go, we will be populating these different channels with interesting information, uh, tips, topics, etc. There's also general posts on an organizational page level, which you can go in and see, uh, browse through the different uh, categories. There's uh, if anything that has a highlight on it, that means that's something that's worthwhile. So maybe spend some time going through that uh, as well. I'm gonna go back to uh, this because I wanna go into my profile. So you see here, as soon as I logged in, there are a couple of things I need to do. I need to verify my email address. And I actually cannot do that because uh, I, I, my, the email address that I put in uh, is not, uh, well, anyways, I don't need to do that for our purposes. Uh, but you see here, my profile is only 25% complete. So what I can do is I can click on complete profile and that will take me into the section of the platform and it'll walk me through the things that I need to complete my profile. So first thing is a profile picture. Um, and I'm not sure what, so I can upload a picture and I'm not sure if you guys will see these because I think this then takes me into a separate window. Not, I don't think you guys see the, uh, do you guys see my desktop screen now? Yep, we see. So I'm just gonna pick a random picture. Just um, and obviously, when you guys pick, when you guys select pictures, uh, please do try to select a picture that is actually. Let me let me uh, select a uh, picture that I. So do select a professional uh, a professional looking picture. Because that does matter uh, when 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 um, uh, recruiters look through your profiles, when experts look through your profiles, they will want to see a picture that is um, that is professional looking. Uh, I'll show you an example. So I'm now uploading uh, my image. I'm gonna increase it slightly. And here we go, this is my image now. So I've changed my image. If you do have a resume, I also highly suggest that you upload your resume because uh, uh, quite a number of recruiters that we've seen will ask uh, for resumes. They want that because they have their own internal uh, uh, databases and they do want to have uh, be able to put your resume into that as well. The job hunt, I am actively looking for a full time. I can edit any of these as we're going. My location, I already entered it. The language that I speak, Arabic and English. So social profiles, so I can add my social profiles in here as well. So I think, uh, so by clicking on edit on one of them, I just enter, um, and this is not really my profile, but I just to show you, it's actually quite straightforward. Uh, these are the localized ones, but it's quite straightforward. You really just enter the URL, click on save, and you've updated your profiles. Interest, so these are the things that I entered while we were signing in. If I wanted to add more, I'm able to, again, click on edit, and then start searching through different skills. And this is 
uh, I think this is uh, probably an easier um, uh, uh, user experience to go through the different uh, topics that are available and select and add them into your, uh, your interests. The bio is important. And, and uh, again, I, I believe uh, you guys probably already know uh, how to do your bios. You probably have bios put into your student profiles and your, your respective university uh, systems. You can use that. Uh, you can add a different bio. We do recommend that your bio is not too long. So three to four sentences should be uh, sufficient. I've entered already my uh, university degree, but I can add additional universities. Uh, uh, I can add additional universities. So for example, one of the other, um, I did go to Imperial College London, and I can add that I did a uh, master's degree as an MBA. MBA, yeah. <laughs> and I graduated in, Obviously, so this this is counterintuitive, right? So I'm saying I'm, I've done an MBA in, in 20, so 2018 is when I graduated. And if I am if I'm currently enrolled, then you also indicate that here, uh, so that you don't need to put any graduation year. If I click add, it adds, it adds that as well. Now for your experience, again, and, and I'm sure we've tried to make this as intuitive as possible. I, I believe most of you will have been on various different uh, job uh, sites and this works in a very similar way to so the institution. So for example, I worked at Pepsi. Um, I was the um, media expert manager. This was in a previous life before uh, Pepsi. And then I can talk about the, uh, so I, Now, be sure to utilize the, uh, um, I mean, make sure that when you put in information that it's put in correctly, capitalize where you need to capitalize. Another way to fill in this information would be to go through your respective uh, CVs and then look at the different, uh, uh, what you've put as description for the various jobs or various tasks that you've done. And feel free to add that here as well. Select a uh, uh, when you started working in a, par in a particular uh, role. And uh, if there is an end date, put an end date. If you are currently working in that position, mark it as this is where you're currently working. If I click add here, then it adds it. Sorry to go up. So it adds it as my experience. Uh, the title and the company that I worked for. This is important. Again, I'll, I'll go into my profile uh, later on uh, and show you how that looks. So the skills are also important. These are the ones that I've added during the uh, sign-on process. If I wanted to add more, I'm also then able to do that directly from here. And then any projects, uh, graduation projects that you've worked on, anything like that, you can click on the add project and also input in the details, so the project name, the, your position within the project, a URL, if there's a website as well as the description. This could be helpful, particularly for fresh graduates that might have done a, um, an end of uh, a graduation project for your various degrees. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, but, so here's my um, actual profile. So this is uh, the profile that I, that I have on localized. And you see, so here's, so in my case, I have my bio, I've put in my education, I've put in my experiences, I've, uh, because I have channels that I'm uh, that I'm following, it, it indicates which channels that I'm following, and this is done automatically. There's nothing on your side that you need to do for that. Interests that I've indicated and memberships. So these are the companies that I'm a member of. Again, in your case, it will be Fulbright Mina. Uh, um, in your case, another important thing, just one thing that I think is very neat that you guys can benefit from. If you go to members uh, in the Fulbright page and anybody that I click on as a member, 
I will be able to get in contact with them directly. So there is a contact functionality here that you're able to click on. And then me and Abdurrahim, uh, we can directly one-on-one -on -one, uh, get in contact with each other through the messaging platform of the, through the messaging system on localized. Now, why is it important uh, to make sure that your profile looks closer to this? Uh, it's because when I go for jobs, so when I search for jobs, for me, for us, you will see jobs. The other side of it is when employers search for candidates, they will search for candidates and the candidates that do have the more complete profiles do get priority, uh, do get a priority for uh, signing on. So they, they appear on a higher scale uh, for the employers. So the employer bit is uh, to get uh, noticed. Your profile does need to be complete. A picture really does matter. Uh, a profile, a LinkedIn social media profile, so they can go in and, and see. Uh, do try to uh, follow channels that you are interested in because employers can go in and see what you're interested in, what are the channels that you're following. Um, my example, by the way, is not necessarily a good example because you'll, you'll see the channels that, are, that I'm following are completely random. Uh, but that comes again with the job, right? That comes because I, I do jump into random channels that I might not be personally interested in, but I do jump in to help with our partners uh, to make sure that they're able to set up everything in the correct way. Once you've completed your profile, the, uh, this, um, uh, the percentage completion will be changed. So I've already added a couple of things. So I'm now at 75% completion. So I add, uh, so it, it jumped from just, just the, the 10 minutes we've been doing this, it jumped to 75% completion. Do go in, make sure that you complete everything, add as much information as you can, as well as upload your, uh, your resume. That is an important bit. For those that are interested, uh, so if I go back to the uh, Ahmad uh, account that I was on, I personally have my resume uh, uploaded on the platform, but only uh, recruiters can see my resume. So don't worry that if you put your resume, not anybody can see it on the People can't just take your resume randomly. This profile though is public. So once you've completed this, all the users on uh, Localize will be able to go in here and will be able to see uh, uh, your information uh, in this way. Um, I'd like to just take a quick break here and ask if anybody has any questions for me. Uh, excuse me, Ahmed. Yes. Uh, I've searched for the things for uh, that I'm interested in. I didn't find it in the drop down, down menu like you showed us now. This is, are you creating your profile as we're, as we're speaking now? I already uh, created before, and I'm now trying to add okay. uh, more data about myself. And uh, when I write, uh, when I write down uh, the I'm particularly interested in, in the uh, interests, you don't find that you can also add those in your bio. Right? You can add. There are different bits and pieces in here that you can add information that might not be. Uh, within these particular areas so that if you catch somebody's attention, they're able to, when they go into your profile, they will uh, be able to read through all these uh, pieces of information. Thank you so much. And I have a uh, last question, if you don't mind. Please. In regard to, uh, now I am a full writer in the US and uh, the hospital gave me uh, an email that's affiliated to the hospital which uh, I think yes. after, after my duration here, I will not have it like for life. So do you, mm -hmm. do you on this situation, is it recommended to use like our Gmail rather than our professional email in order not to lose it afterwards? So, 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 the, so nobody on the platform is able to see your email, okay? So your email is, is yours. Nobody will be able to see it. Nobody will be able to use it. So the purpose of the email is for notifications. 
is you get a notification. If you lose your password, you want to be able to send to an email that you will have access to. Uh, once you've downloaded the mobile app, even the notifications that come on emails become less, less uh, you, you'll get the notifications on your phone uh, directly, right? So the email is not, nobody will have access to your email. Uh, the email is mainly for our records, just to associate a, a way to be able to get in contact with you uh, and a way for us to send communications about upcoming events and upcoming webinars. So I do recommend uh, uh, you don't necessarily need to put a work email in place. Uh, because an employer who is trying to get in contact with you will see the email that you have put on your resume, will not necessarily see the email uh, that you've put on your user account. Thank you and so much. That's clear. Yes, so clear. Thank you yeah, so pleasure. much. I have a few questions, if you don't uh, mind, as well, but it's not about the process. Please. It's about localized in general. So I, I don't know if I should wait later for a segment for that or would now be the time? Please ask away. We, we, do, we do have a, a, another session planned, uh, I think it's uh, next month, uh, where we dig deeper into uh, uh, the localized features and things like that. But uh, please uh, ask away. I'm, I'm here, so it's All a right. good opportunity. Thank you very much. Well, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm very new to localized and uh, I'm, I've been trying to search about it and find some history and uh, just to understand a little bit about it, but I couldn't find much. So I, I'm finding it like very useful and interesting. Uh, so I was wondering like, is, is it something new? So yeah, so localized is relatively new. So we've been around for about two years. We started mainly in, uh, in Palestine and in uh, Jordan. Uh, where we were approaching universities there and, and uh, trying to build our, our expert uh, network. To be honest, in the past year, uh, we've grown significantly. We've 10 x our, our users in the, in the past year. So last year was really quite a pivotal year for us. We, we were able to get enough mass to really push on the employer a bit uh, more heavily to start getting things like uh, um, career fairs going because we had the student mass to be able to approach uh, companies and, and, and organizations in that way. We've also been adding a lot of uh, partners and a lot of experts. Uh, so in, in the past year, uh, you might have uh, seen a couple of things here and there, but before then, I, I doubt that you would have seen localized anywhere. I see. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm seeing the channels and the activities and the events. It's very interesting and, and like opens up a lot of new opportunities. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But so uh, so you mentioned that, you know, it's expanding, right? So is it is it like uh, yes. is, it, is it like ex exclusive? Can anyone can anyone can any company be a part of it? Can anyone be a member or is it like a process like I became a member through Fulbright, is it is it something? Yes. So, so is there something? are so we, we we do push for uh, organizational uh, memberships. So we we do we make partnerships with organizations such as Fulbright. We also have partnerships with universities, and and through those partnerships, we we then communicate to students to sign on to. Uh, onto the platform and then when you're associated to the organization it also creates like you can you can benefit from the features that are available generally in localized but you also have uh, the, the access to the university the organization that you're a part of right so the Fulbright team will have resources are able to utilize the platform to send information to receive feedback to get you guys in contact really build that community uh, that we want and then we have sessions like these right so uh, these kinds of sessions are generally through a partnership with an organization there are ways you, you could be invited to uh, although we're, we're it's, it's like a it wasn't so, it's still not so clear cut but there are ways to invite people to come on just as a user but they're not necessarily associated to any particular organization uh, and so th there's a big chunk that they that they miss out. And it is better to come in through an affiliate organization. I see. And are you planning to expand on that? Are you planning like to expand the universities, employers-wise? Absolutely. And 
absolutely. Uh, all right, I'm, 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 just, I'm just curious because I know a lot of uh, organizations or people who would be interested and in, uh, I'm just curious how, how would it work if they do want to or do you have to approach them or do they approach to you? Or, either way, either way, we're, we're, we're always happy to, but, but I think, I mean, I, I, I'm conscious just to make the conversation. So may, maybe this is something, Ahmed, that I can uh, pick up with you if uh, maybe I can share my, uh, my email. Actually, I'll, I'll do that right now. Um, I'm going to put my email on the chat. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to, uh, to cut you, but I just want to make sure that we're talking about things that are relevant uh, to Technical. everybody on the session. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I understand. Uh, and, and what you're talking about, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Like, definitely, if you have, if you see opportunity, let, let's talk. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to discuss this further. I have a lot of... Uh, uh, well, I have a lot to say about that. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not most right of it though would not be relevant to the to the people. Absolutely, I understand. Thank you very much. Actually, this is all I had as questions. Thank you very much. You've been awesome. So, but but please, Ahmed, take my email. Please reach out to me, and, and we'll arrange a, a call. Uh, me and you uh, later uh, later this week or, or early next week. And I, I just noticed that Emna uh, or that somebody had just uh, signed on. We're, we're actually approaching the end of the session. Uh, however, it was recorded. So if anybody uh, did miss it, they will be able to get a recording of the session. And, and please, guys, the, 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 the people that did attend, if you think that this would be beneficial to colleagues of yours or fellow Fulbrighters, please. Uh, do let us know so we can uh, share this uh, recording as widely as possible.